Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for Pisces. This is for the week of May 11th through the 16th, so we're going to start with May 11th. If you hear some little in the back, you know, a little, it's a nail gun, okay? He's uh, putting on, um, one of my friends is putting on um, trim today, so you may hear it in the background. Um, but anyhow, what do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, May 11th. May 11th through the 16th. We're going to start with the 11th. We're going to go day by day. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces for May 11th through the 16th? What do you have for May 11th? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Monday, May 11th? Nine of coins reversed. Seven of coins reversed. Monday. Tuesday, king of swords reversed. And the three of coins reversed. Wednesday. What do we have for Wednesday? Pisces. What do we have for Wednesday? Wow, a lot of reverses. You guys see me flipping them. I flip, the, I flip a stack at a time. Okay? So, reversals is an absence of something. So, let's see. What do we got for Thursday? <laughs> and in this case, it's better. Okay? So, let's see. Ah, we got one upright. The Seven of Swords. So, now this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday... Thursday. Now we need Friday. What do we have for Friday? Whew. Saturday. Saturday the 16th. What do we have for Saturday? Page of Wands reversed. Wow. Six of Coins reversed. Now, you've seen me flipping this whole time. Okay. It is what it is. So, it is what it is. I'm not going to change it, and there's a lot of people that only want to hear the positive, but, you know, a lot of this is positive. Sometimes a reverse card is more better than it being upright, okay? You got all reversals here except for one. We got one upright card, and it is the Seven of Swords. Somebody's lying, okay? Seven of Swords is lies, cheating, deception. Okay, so this is over, getting away with something. So we got, what's that, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, there's somebody that is, is cheating or lying or getting away with something on Thursday. We can get an overall energy for the week. Um, this is this is a sneaky, very sneaky energy on Thursday. But anyway, um, what's the overall energy for Pisces for the week? The overall energy for Pisces for the week. Ooh, Seven of Wands. Now, this is climbing. Remember, I think we did a reading for you. It was a monthly reading. I don't know if it was May's or June's where you guys were climbing a ladder. And then here we are, climbing a ladder. It's not easy. Now, this is a Seven of Wands. That means it's a challenge. I think it's going to be a challenging week for you. Okay? Now, this is real shit. This is real life. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Of course, it's challenging. So, for anybody out there that is, is prettying shit up for you, uh, you really got to question that. Okay. Um, this is reality. It's a challenge. So we have, a, this is definitely going to be a challenging week where, you know, there's, there may be some stiff competition. Maybe you're competing with people or you're needing to compete. You may be caught off guard. Um, it's, it looks like it's not going to be easy to be on top, to get on top, but you can do it. So this is a week where you're climbing out of something or you're needing to find a way to, get back on top, okay? You may, you may need to face some sort of fear. You know, to climb a ladder uh, can be fearful, okay? It can be. So you may be, it may be, you may be having a very challenging week because you got to climb. you got to climb out of something. You get to, you to get on top, to be on top, you're going to have to be persistent. And, you know, that seems pretty prominent here, really. That, well, let's see if we can, there we go. I'll stand that up right there. Um, let me just move this forward a little bit. I want to be able to focus this in. So Monday for Pisces, Monday the 11th, nine of coins reversed, seven of coins reversed. Now there could be a loss of money. Okay. Maybe you're going through your bank account and, uh, you know, there's a financial 
issues with the nine of coins and the seven of coins reversed. There's there's problems. Money may feel may feel like money is is not coming in. You're losing money. Um, there's a lack of um, something coming to fruition. It's not coming to fruition. It's not happening. Um, and you maybe that's why you're you're having a it's such a struggle. Okay, this is a lack of abundance, a need for determination. When you can, there's insecurity here. There's a need for discipline. You must take action. You must take action in some way to bring yourself some sort of new stability. So you may be facing, I don't know if you're facing a financial crisis or what. And on Monday, I mean, it's definitely going to be a challenging week to climb out of this hole. Uh, it feels like you're climbing out of a hole. It's going to be challenging. And this week, Monday, you probably... You know, something is costing, because this is money, okay, this is money related. Something is costing you money or the money's not manifesting or it's not coming in. Um, somebody made a poor investment, perhaps, and, you know, maybe now they regret it. Um, uh, nine of coins reversed. There's a lack of, there's a lack of... Um, Growth. I'm not sure if we have a business owner here because the nine of pentacles or the nine of coins is, could be a business owner, but it's reversed where there, there's, there's nothing coming in. There's no growth. There's no growth. It's like, and it could cause a level of, uh, uh, being distraught. It feels like it's a level. So Monday, I feel like there was somebody may have made a poor investment and now they're losing money and, and that's going to be on the table. Okay. Maybe, maybe, you know, I mean, the nine of pentacles reverse is somebody who, uh, doesn't, it may, unstable, insecure, you know, there's some insecurities that may be popping up over a loss of income on Monday. Something could be costing you money and it doesn't make you very happy. I mean, there's a poor investment here. It's, it could be a dead end. The seven of coins in reverse could be a dead end. Okay. There's no more growth here. You need to come up. You need to get creative and, and go someplace else, create another business, you know, Start at the bottom, start over, something like that. Go so, relocate, maybe. Maybe you need to relocate. Um, come up with another plan on Monday. But Monday is dealing with financial insecurities. Okay? I'm sorry. Tuesday. King of Swords reverse, Three of Coins reverse. Now, King of Swords reverse, I don't care. This is somebody that is very harsh, um, hard, cold, uncaring. Um, I don't care. Very, it could be mean. This could be a bully. This could be abuse. You could be dealing with somebody who is being very, very harsh on Tuesday. You can't work with this person. This is no working together, a lack of teamwork, a lack of compromise, a lack of respect. So we do have an individual on Tuesday that you are going to be dealing with that really doesn't care. This person is mean. They are hard. They are cold. They, you can't work with them. You, they're not you, they are unwilling to compromise in any way. It's it's their way or the highway. It really is that way. And they may say something mean, you know. Um, so Tuesday, there could be um, a lack of togetherness because there's somebody here that is clueless. They are rude. They are mean. They are set in their ways. They are unwilling to see something from any other perspective. So Tuesday, there could, I mean, the three of pentacles reversed is uh, a lack of harmony. So there could be, it is, uh, not on the same page. So there, there could be in some words that are said with somebody, you know, that are said in a harsh way. Uh, there's just an inability to work with somebody. You can't. There's no compromise here. There's a lack of respect. And there's a need to refocus. And there's a need to refocus. It starts right at the beginning of the week. There's a need to, you know, plan. Come up with a new plan. Seriously. You've got to come up with a new plan. It starts at the beginning of the week to get out of this hole. Now, this is unwilling to look at things from a new perspective. So this is the King of Swords. It's unwilling, unwilling to look at something from a new perspective. So that could cause, you know, somebody else to say, I can't work with you. There's too much disharmony. There's too much, um, I don't know. This person is very set in their ways. So I think Tuesday there's going to be, um, I think it's going to be, a, it's going to be a rough day for, for communication. It's going to be, it is. There may be some rough communication that is coming through because there is somebody here that lacks respect and was refusing to see anything on any other way. So it could cause 
um, some disharmony. I think there's going to be, you know, a problem on Tuesday with communication and working with somebody who you don't see eye to eye with. I mean, it's just the way it goes. I'm, I'm not going to pretty it up. Uh, Wednesday. So Wednesday is the 13th. Nine of Wands reversed and the Hermit reversed. Now this is coming out of isolation. Time to reconnect. Open up. And this is kind of like opening up as well. So, in, you know, these are these are kind of good. Okay. On Wednesday, this is opening up. Um, but this is this is very challenging. The Nine of Wands, again, on, on guard, refusing to compromise. We definitely have somebody here that refuses to compromise, whether it's you. And this is unenlightened as well. It is. Refusing to go within, refusing to re-identify, refusing. Okay, so we, this is causing problems. We have somebody here that is so, so, so stubborn. We do. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. But on Wednesday, the Nine of Wands reversed. This is um, not not learning somebody that wants their own way somebody that you there's somebody in this week in this reading that is very disagreeable very disagreeable very disagreeable unwilling to compromise there's no growth here there's somebody that is very stubborn this person is insecure they don't have any stability there's no money they're losing money they can't contribute financially there's a lack of financial contribution or something like that. Or you're not getting the money that you thought you were going to get. Something didn't manifest. It didn't grow. And I think by Wednesday, it's, go it's definitely going to be a challenging week. It's going to be a challenging week. Um, you know, you there could be a need to... You may feel like you're on the defensive or the other person does. The Hermit reversed is paranoia. It could be antisocial restrictions. There's restrictions here and there's a need to socialize. So, you know, there's there could be paranoia over these restrictions, over this isolation, over coming out of isolation and the need to come out of isolation. There's also extreme pride here. There's extreme pride here and there's extreme pride here. So... Okay, there's we got somebody here that and there is extreme pride here and extreme pride right here. So there is somebody here that has a lot of pride and they're unwilling to compromise at all. And because they're unwilling to compromise and make changes and do things differently and re-identify and come up with a new plan, they're gonna lose. Okay, they're losing. They're losing money, they're losing they're losing financial stability, okay? Some we evolve, we, we, it's it's time to change. Somebody is is and so, is struggling this week because they're so set in their ways. That is what I see. So there is definitely uh, restrictions. These restrictions are are really causing some sort of um, anger, perhaps, or animosity, or causing somebody to be really paranoid about their financial situation. And it it, it just feels like on Wednesday they're they're. <laughs> you know, um, leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I need to be alone. Maybe you feel like you need to be alone because this is a very challenging time. You know, you may want to take a step back and retreat because you're feeling overwhelmed. Somebody may on Wednesday may be feeling overwhelmed over this. I don't know if it's financial loss or financial burden or something like that. Just getting, it feels like getting more, more angry. It feels like getting angrier and angrier and angrier that something isn't manifesting. It's not happening. By Thursday, we got the Hangman reverse next to the Seven of Swords. This is this is defeat or betrayal. The Seven of Swords um, slipping away, sneaky behavior. Now the Hangman reverse is refusing to budge, hiding something, obsessed with control, egotism, not learning a lesson. We definitely have not learning a lesson a couple of times here. So we have somebody here that just is um, unwilling, unwilling to change. I'm not changing. I'm not budging stubborn as hell. So Thursday, somebody could um, uh, do something shady. Okay, they could do something shady. Um, very sneaky, sneaky energy on Thursday thinking that you know they've come up with some plan maybe it's to steal something or to do something shady
I wouldn't if I was you. Anyway, I mean, I'm not sure if it's you or whoever it is, but it doesn't look very good. It doesn't. I think on Thursday, there is there is something going to happen. There's some sort of betrayal or lie or cheating or deception or something like that where this person thinks that they won't get caught. They're gonna somebody's gonna do something on Thursday and they think that they won't get caught, but it feels like they're going to. To me, it feels like they, and they may not get caught today, but they get caught later. Okay, refusing to change, refusing to go in and change, refusing to learn anything, uh, will not change, will not change. And somebody could be lying to themselves, and this card represents Pisces. So I will not change anything. So, you know, on Thursday, this is, Seven of Swords is lies. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Betrayal. There's some sort of betrayal. I gotta get another card for Thursday. One more card for Thursday, please. Ten of Cups. Something about a relationship. Something about home. Refusing. Something about the home on, on Thursday. All is not as it seems. There's deception. <laughs> it's just, seven of swords is deception. There's lies. There's cheating. Somebody's not telling the truth. And they're getting away with it. You need to be careful on Thursday. Because this could be like robbery. Seriously, that could be robbery. Somebody could be stealing. You need to be careful. This could be stealing out of your home, stealing from your business. You know, somebody could be stealing or robbing. Or This is like robbery. It is. It is. It is. So be careful on Thursday. And Thursday there could be, you know, some sort of theft. I'm just being honest with you. Theft from the home or the business or something like that. Friday. Friday, Eight of Swords reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. Now, this is lies. Removing an obstacle. Somebody is, has been in a state of paranoia. They've been staying in their safety zone. They've been lying. But the obstacle is finally being removed. Their fear. They may have been in some sort of fearful state of mind. But they're removing their fear. And, but there's bitterness here. This is freedom. This is freedom. It is in reversed. So there's freedom from... And they could be dealing with a bitch. So I'm not sure if somebody's moving home. Because this could be sneaking away. Somebody... <laughs> okay, I got it. You know, it. you know, somebody could be leaving in the middle of the night. Or they leave when you're not at home or when you're at work or something like that. There is something going on that you don't see. Whether it's you or the other person that you're dealing with. Somebody is planning something. They're plan it's almost like an escape. So somebody could be leaving the home because this is the end of a relationship. And it could happen in the middle of the night. Now what is this date? So this is the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Right around the 14th. It doesn't have to be the 14th. Timing is fluid. But this is an escape. Somebody could be going back home, moving back home, something like that. And this could be a change. It could be. Because there is somebody here that is mean. There is somebody here that is egotistical. And we definitely have a person that is hiding something. And they're sneaking around. And they may, maybe they're moving or something behind your back. Or I don't know what is going on. On Thursday, there is some sort of sneaky behavior. There is. Something... Uh, I don't know. Somebody could be moving. You know, you come home and they're gone. Or they stole something or something like that. Anyway, this is freedom. This is freedom from a bitch. Okay? Or a nasty individual who uh, is vindictive and malicious. And uh, this person is probably a liar. You know, the Queen of Swords in reverse may not tell the truth. She may be hard to deal with. She... Um, or he, I'm saying she because that's what's on the card. That's freedom. It's freedom from this nasty situation. Okay, this this person is very malicious. 
uh, cold hearted. <laughs> the queen of swords in reverse is cold hearted. She's, uh, wicked. She's wicked. Okay. So it's freedom from this wicked individual. Um, there could also be, <laughs> that's what it is. It's freedom. Broken free. Queen of Swords in the reverse on Thursday. This is a, this is a and it's funny. It's a very harsh. It's a very. I think there's there's some sort of serious disharmony here between two people. Serious disharmony in a relationship, and I feel like this relationship is, you know, somebody's escaping it. They're escaping. They're they're like breaking free from this confinement. On Thursday, it's like I'm free. I'm free from this nasty individual, whoever it is. Um, Saturday, the 15th. Page of Wands reverse, Six of Coins reverse. Now, this is not good news. You may be, you may receive a message, a bad news. Okay, this is bad news. You may receive a message. Somebody took some of your money. They stole for you, from you or something. Or they're not paying you. Six of coins reverse. That's a loss of money. Unemployment. Getting fired. A fraud. Somebody didn't seek professional advice. Somebody has abused their power. This is an injustice. There's a theft. I don't know if you're being stolen from. Somebody has stolen from you. And they don't think that they're going to get caught. By the end of the week, you may figure it out that, you know, this was all a lie. It was all a lie. Uh, something is going on here. So I feel like you're going to have to climb yourself out of a hole with an individual that lied to you. Somebody has lied to you. Now, this is the Six of Pentacles reversed is an abuse of power. Strong control. Somebody has abused their power. And now they're not receiving good news. They're going to be losing. This is a loss. A loss of money. Loss of financial. There's definitely a loss of financially financial stability here. There is. With all these pentacles reversed. This is a one-sided situation. With that, There's no equal give and take. There's a lack of reciprocation. It's unfair. It's not fair. So I think on Friday, you know, the page of wands reversed is uh, bad news, unreliable. Uh, somebody uh, didn't, something has failed to launch. And now there's a setback and there's a loss of, so by Friday, I feel like, um, I don't know, somebody, I mean, the reverse six of pentacles, the last card, there could, there could be, this is Saturday. By Saturday, this is, um, something that failed to launch and there's a loss of money by Saturday. It's like losing more money. I've lost more money. I think there's somebody, this is not a good week for you, Pisces. I'm sorry. I wish that I could change it. It is not a good week. I feel like there's, there's a financial loss here by Saturday. Somebody is maybe giving up. It's like they're giving up. They, you may have been stolen from and you find out somebody stole from you. They stole from your business or they stole from your home or, or they left you high and dry. Somebody may have left you high and dry and you come to find out that uh, they took more than you thought that they were going to take. Something like that. Whoever you were dealing with was very uh, self-centered and egotistical. Somebody is self-centered and egotistical here. Mean, 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 mean. Very mean, very cold, um, cold-hearted. Uh, no love here. Okay, there isn't any love here. This Ten of Cups, I think it was it was a lie. Okay, it was a lie because there's deception here. Um, I feel like uh, there's there's definitely a huge financial setback because uh, somebody did not plan effect effectively or they made a wrong choice. And uh, now something isn't coming to fruition. It's not. There's no growth. Okay. There's. It's. It's time to reinvest and go someplace else. Somebody is is going someplace else. They're gonna have to start over. It's like start at rock bottom. That's what I see. 
So I do apologize that this week is going to be such a challenge for you. You are going to be climbing. You are going to get through this. It may seem like you are right in the, it looks like it's almost like fire to me. Like you're thrown right in the fire, you know, you're, but you're going to climb out of it. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a challenging week. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pretty this up. I am going to share it. It is what it is. I think whatever is happening is happening, uh, uh, I think it's happening because somebody was very cold and they didn't care and they were unwilling to evolve, unwilling to change, unwilling to listen to anybody and they had a really hard time um, compromising. There's no compromise here. And in life you have to make compromises. So um, by Saturday there's... there's uh, I mean, that page of wands reverse, that's bad news. That's bad news. There's no money coming. This isn't, this, I don't have anything for you. Or there, you receive some news that somebody stole something, okay? Or they took your money. Something like that. There could be unemployment. Somebody could be getting fired. I'm just being honest with you or, or something like that. Good luck. I'm sorry.